Hi and welcome back to the final part of our series of videos on clicker training. In section three, we'll be building upon what Vito has learned in sections one and two. And where we left off in section two, we were encouraging Vito to walk backwards without me actually hurting him. So I need to turn this into a solid pattern of behavior, which he'll do readily over about six feet. And then we can turn this trick into a game that we can use on a daily basis with a ball instead of food. So let's pick up from where we left off at the end of section two. Back. Good boy. That's super. Yes, good boy. So basically through trial and error, repetition, a lot of patience, we're building on this behavior. We're creating this backward movement, only rewarding when he's walking straight backwards, when he's going 45 degrees or he's making mistakes and we reset and go again. And that will allow us in a few sessions time when we've imprinted this behavior enough to transfer the reward from food to a ball. So we're now at a point coming to the end of section three, where I feel it's the ideal time to move from food to a ball. I'm getting pretty much steady results with him going backwards. The distance he's going varies. I know Vito's drive for a ball is quite high and I think his desire to chase it is gonna help me in terms of him moving backwards or his willingness to move backwards. So we'll see you in the next training session. Okay, so we've spent a lot of time imprinting walking backwards as a pattern of behavior that Vito understands that he's ready to offer. We're switching now from using food as the reward, as the driving force, to the ball. In other videos that we've posted, we've highlighted the fact that mentally stimulating your dog is more important than simply slinging a ball backwards and forwards. This walking backwards is simply another element to that. All this boils down to is keeping your dog physically and mentally healthy. So let's see how he does. All right, come on then, Vito. Really important when you're changing any exercise that you've taught a dog that you look to reward them quickly for the smallest success first. Back. So tiny movement backwards, rewarded it. It's gonna build his confidence and his understanding of what he needs to do. Out. Good boy. Back. Good boy. He's not doing it perfectly at the moment, but this is about patience. It's about shaping and molding the behavior that we want. Back. Back. Good boy. Back. Yeah, good boy. Just as with every other stage in this exercise, when we've changed it, or we've asked uh, Vito to do more, then we need to lower our expectations in terms of what we're rewarding him for. But it is very much a case of small steps climb mountains. As with everything, dog training, little and often is key. Repetitions are super important and we need to go away and develop this over the course of another few sessions. Vito's also struggling in this heat, so there's another reason that we need to keep the session short. So we'll see you next time. Hi and welcome back to the final part of our series of videos on clicker training. Since the last time that you caught up with us, we've done three or four sessions and Vito's done really well. We've actually achieved what we set out to, which is for him to go back four to six feet using the ball as a reward instead of food. You can actually develop this now. You can have some real fun with it. Personally, I'm going to add things like going backwards into a down, then coming back towards me. And that's definitely something that you should try at home. Really hope you've enjoyed this series of videos if so give us a like and if you don't want to miss any future videos that we post then hit the subscribe button with notifications switched on